Hi guys, my name is Mark, and today we'll go over what you need to know before you purchase a California fishing license. Fishing in California is awesome because it's a big state, it's diverse, and depending on where you are, you can target a wide range of both freshwater and saltwater species. That's why it's very important though to familiarize yourself with the main rules and regulations before you get out there and hit the water. So we'll go over the different types of licenses, requirements, exceptions, and where to purchase a license and everything else you need to know. Believe me, the last thing you want is to be slapped with a fine because you caught something that you weren't licensed to catch or because you were fishing in the wrong place at the wrong time. The first question, and probably the most important one, is who needs a California fishing license? To put it simply, anyone over the age of 16 will have to buy a fishing license in the state of California. So this applies to both state residents and non-residents. And a resident is defined by anyone who has been living in California consistently for six months or more. And a non-resident is obviously anyone who's coming from out of state. Uh, licenses for residents and non-residents are sold separately and their costs vary as well. Also, every angler in your group will have to purchase a fishing license. So if you bring one of your friends along and even if they're just helping you with like netting and de hooking, they will also have to purchase a fishing license as well. So there are some exceptions that exempt people from having to buy a fishing license. And this includes if you're casting from a public pier, as well as if you're fishing on what's referred to as a free fishing day. Uh, just keep in mind that these free fishing days, they vary year to year. Uh, and you can actually find the dates on California Department of Fish and Wildlife's website. And last but not least, anglers under the age of 16 also do not need a California fishing license, but they will be required to carry a permit or a report card if they're fishing for a specific type of species, and we'll get into that later as well. So there are several different types of fishing licenses in California. You have what's referred to as standard licenses. You also have lifetime licenses, which are only available to California residents. And you have what's called a reduced fee fishing license as well. For standard licenses, you have a one day, two day, 10 day, and you have an annual license as well. And the 10 day license is only available to non-residents. Now for the hardcore anglers out there, if you really want to experience a little bit of everything, you can purchase what's called a fishing privilege package. That's typically around $380, but just keep in mind that the price is subject to change. This license includes an ocean enhancement stamp, a lifetime second rod stamp, and a North Coast salmon report card, uh, as well as a steelhead report card as well. There are also some types of licenses that are available at reduced rates in a variety of situations. This includes anglers who are blind, developmentally disabled, or mobility impaired, as well as disabled or recovering veterans, as well as low-income seniors. You can fill out an application for a reduced fee license online at wildlife.ca.gov and submit it to the California Department of Fish and Wildlife by mail. Just keep in mind, you may also need to bring extra paperwork as proof. For example, disabled veterans will have to uh, have a letter with them from the VA stating that they were honorably discharged uh, and have a service-connected disability rating of over 50%. So just some additional requirements to keep in mind. Report cards are also important if you plan on targeting a certain type of species. These include steelhead, spiny lobster, and sturgeon. And you'll also need a North Coast Salmon Report Guard if you're fishing for salmon in the Klamath, Trinity, and Smith Rivers. You still need to buy a report guard even if you're someone who isn't required to buy a sport fishing license. This is very important to keep in mind. So this applies to anglers uh, that are fishing from public piers uh, or anglers under the age of 16 as well. It's important to remember that you'll have to return your report card to the California Department of Fish and Wildlife by January 31st of the following year. Spiny lobster report cards, however, are due at the end of lobster season, which is usually April 30th. You can report your card online or mail it to the address specified on the card. For more information on pricing, you can always check out our full blog article, or you can also just head to the California Department of Fish and Wildlife website for the most up-to-date information. Just remember that prices uh, may change on a yearly basis, so it might be a good idea just to check on that information before you actually go out and purchase your license. So you can purchase your license either in person or online. Uh, you can do so through the California Department of Fish and Wildlife website or at one of their licenses sales offices as well. Just please note that California Department of Fish and Wildlife offices do not accept payments in cash, so you will need to bring 
your credit card with you. You can also find fishing licenses at a Walmart, Big Five Sport Goods, local tackle shops, and any other licensed retailers as well. If you lose your license, don't worry. You can always buy a replacement either online or at any California Department of Fish and Wildlife Licenses sales offices. And same goes for renewals. Once your license expires, you can renew it online, again at California Department of Fish and Wildlife or at one of their sales offices as well. All right, so hopefully this video helped answer some of your questions regarding California fishing licenses. For more information, you can always check out our full blog article to get the full price breakdowns, as well as more details about each licensing category. Now that you have everything you need, go on and get out there, fish the Golden State waters responsibly, and more importantly, be sure to have fun.